real-world learning tasks, such as predicting hospital readmissions, utilize heterogeneous data. These data sets are usually fused by a graph structure. The hypergraph is an extension to the graph, in which a hyperedge can model the high-order relations in the data sets. We propose a visual analysis approach for hypergraph learning on heterogeneous data. The user is allowed to construct the hypergraph model, modulate the learning process, and explore the learning results interactively. One of our collaborators, Tom, focuses on the prediction of hospital readmissions. He collects a set of data tables that are potentially related to readmission, such as the patient details, hospital ratings and county census information. Then his analysis starts with fusing the data tables. By adding, linking and merging the data sets, a unified hypergraph structure can be constructed. The constructed hypergraph is represented in an incidence matrix representation, which is used for hypergraph learning. During the analysis process, Tom can modulate the parameters of the hypergraph model. For example, he can tune weights of the hyperedges according to the domain knowledge. We designed an improved hypergraph learning algorithm for classifying the unlabeled instances given a partial labeling of the data. The user can rank the matrix by the weights to find variables which have major effects on the learning results. Then levels of interest can be selected from the matrix and visualized in the contour visualization. In this visualization, a vertex represents a set of instances, such as hospitals. A contour is a level, such as a nurse rating of 4. Tom can now select a vertex or a hyperedge to view its learned label distribution. Next, to find the patient factors of readmission, Tom modifies the hypergraph by adding an inpatient data set. Then he trains the updated hypergraph model. He ranks all the levels by weights in the incidence matrix. Then he notices several diagnosis categories with high weights, such as newborns and circulatory system. He visualizes the patient groups in those diagnosis categories and different age groups. According to his domain knowledge, diagnosis categories such as newborns and trauma are not factors of readmission. After the inspection, he selects some of the diagnostic categories in the matrix and reduces their prior weights by half. With the updated weights, the accuracy of the learning model is improved to 0.89. He finds that more newborns' readmissions became low after the modification of the weights. On the other hand, the overall distribution of circulatory system has the opposite change pattern. Now Tom clearly sees that readmission is predicted to be high for this health condition. The second user, Jason, focuses on the prediction of the 2016 U.S. presidential election. He constructs a hypergraph of the states, counties and their history election results. Then he trains the model, the results suggest that Democrat will win the major electoral votes. After checking the learn results, he realizes that using the history data is not accurate, since the candidates of the parties were very different from the past. As a result, he removes the history datasets and adds the election polls in the hypergraph model. He also adds the candidates as the label data for the training. With the modified model, the accuracy shows that 46 out of 51 states are correct. He is interested in finding which poll providers have major influences on the learning results. By reordering the incidence matrix, he notices that the polls of CNN, NBC and CBS have the highest weights. He selects the levels in those polls and explores their learned labels in the contour visualization. Jason knows that some of these states actually voted for Trump, such as Florida and North Carolina. Thus, according to his knowledge, these polls are possibly biased. He consequently selects these polls and reduces their weights. With the updated weights, more states turn correct, including Florida and North Carolina. The user continues his exploration and notices that several census variables have high weights, such as bachelor's degree rate and population density. To examine their detailed class distributions, 
he selects these two levels and shows them in the contour visualization. From the vertices, he finds that states with both high population densities and high bachelor's rates can all be predicted as Democrat. It suggests the combination of these two hyperedges could be a good indicator of election results. Thanks for watching.